Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today we are going to open up my very first Mr. Cypress package. I found them through some Instagram or, or from Instagram and also from YouTube. I started off with learning about this website um, through YouTube and then I did some research and found them on Instagram where you can really see how beautiful their pens are. So this package came extremely quickly from Taiwan, literally two and a half days. And that is so exciting and it just spoils me because then I start questioning, where is the rest of my packages? <laughs> but anyway, it is FedEx Express and you do have to pay for that service. And it's the only service if you are buying from this website online and you live in the United States. So I got an email with the um, tracking information and a picture of what they're sending me. So they told me they're going to send this as a free gift, which is very generous of them. And I did not know that they were going to actually send a magazine. So this is going to be some delicious eye candy to look at and even a oh like a gift bag so this is a really nice gift bag i can actually use it for um you know other gifts so i'm gonna hold on to that and then here is the box so before we start i want to see this pen kimono is what they called it a kimono sleeve And it is this really pretty gold and blue and red. And it just has like stuffing in here to keep it, keep it open. So that's such a nice and thoughtful gift. The inside is really soft and smooth. And I think it would only hold one pen um, comfortably. So yeah, thank you so much. So I'm just going to set it off to the side and then we're going to get into this package. So I think this is just in there. There's nothing here besides some padding. Oh, it's kind of to hold the pen, I think. It looks like, like the pen bed that you would put your pen in here. Okay, so we get information on when I purchased. And no, this is not when I purchased. Maybe this is my, oh, my letter, my warranty card, yes. And so I guess it's, uh, this is the last date. And then they have some information, some QR codes, if you wanna look at that, for their website, Instagram, and Facebook. comes in this well nestled packaging and we have a I've seen other videos of unboxing so everyone says that this is a bamboo box and it has just a belly band which I need to I would like to slide off but Alright, so it looks like this, and it's magnetic, oh, so there is like a little section to put your finger so you can pop it open, but it is magnetic, which is nice touch. And then their business card, Mr. Cypress, some packaging just to make sure it is snug in there and not going to move. And then it comes in this little clear tube. So this is what the tube looks like. And just pop it off. And then you get a 
nice leather velvet pouch. And I can hear my pen and some more packaging. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, let's take it out of the packaging first. So this is even sealed. OMG. Look at that. So flat tops. And there's... I'm so excited. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, and they line up perfectly. You can hardly tell where where the cap begins. And I got a Bach nib. So they do have different options for nibs, even 14 karat gold nibs, but um, I decided to go with Bach because I feel like I've had really good luck with Bach nibs. And then you can see even on the grip section, it just follows through the material. So pretty. I would say this is probably one of the like my prettiest pen yet so this does not post which is fine this is a pretty good size pen for me they also had the same style in a black body oh wow and they line up that did not take much effort. Okay, so I'm gonna ink it up and test it out. Oh, let's see. Yep, and it does come with a converter, which is perfect. And this is just a standard international. Oh, a Schmidt converter. And you just have to push, apply some pressure to put it in there. It's good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna ink it up and we will do a writing sample. All right, so here's the pen in the kimono sleeve and it does have like room for an even bigger pen because this is where my pen stops. So this gorgeous pen, I've actually had to make some adjustments to the nib and um, I've put in a new ink from the original ink. So the original ink is this Kyo Eero and it is a very dry ink, I am realizing after the fact. but. I ended up changing it to the Sailor Monyo Kiku, Kiku, I think is how you say it, and I could be absolutely wrong. Um, I have to be careful to wipe off the nib because the nib <clears throat> ink will get in the cap and then the ink will get on the threads like it kind of did, so I gotta clean that off. But this pen, Right, so much better now, and I'm using 68 GSM Tamoy River paper. And this pen is from Mr. Cypress. And this is a company out of Taiwan and they make handmade fountain pens bodies. So this body is actually made out of ebonite, 
but it undergoes a process called rotten. And it's a old traditional process where you break up shells, conch, cell, conch shells, and you cut them out into the shapes and sizes you need, and then you inlay them on the pen. So all these were hand inlaid, and um, it's just so wonderfully done, and it's so beautiful. I cannot feel the shells or anything. This whole body is pretty smooth and it's it just reflects in the light and it's just so gorgeous. They have another color which is black body and then the same shells uh, with the same design and they have a plethora of different designs. Not just um, this which is mimics a beehive but also some that you'd find um, different shapes maybe they start at the top and then spiral down a little bit in the middle and all the way down to the bottom but there's so many different options on the website uh, so this one is actually called spring b And it has a Bach fine nib. And again, I actually had to make some adjustments to the nib, put it under some mesh because it was a little scratchy. And then I even opened up the tines a little bit to make it a little bit more juicy. And I feel like I accomplished what I wanted to. So now it just writes like perfectly for me. Um, I can squeeze a little bit uh, more ink out. I don't think it writes very well uh, reverse, but you can squeeze out a little bit of writing. This ink is new to me, so I can't say too much about it, except that it's this kind of a muted blue to me. It reminds me a little bit of the Diamine, um, no, at the Diatrementis uh, blue, permanent blue, um, but I think it's really pretty. It's a little understated. really nice. So, um, what else? I don't know what else to say except for that it's gorgeous. I do find uh, that I will most likely be <laughs> on the website just looking at some of their other pens because they're just so beautiful and these artists who create these designs are just so talented. Um, so yes, and also I would say that you wanna be careful on the ink you choose and most likely fill the cartridge converter with ink and then attach it to the body uh, rather than filling the nib with ink. Just because this is a material that I believe will stain if the ink is just kept on there. And so right now you could see this color here that I'm just now discovering after having it inked up for less than a day and I need to try to wipe that off. But um, I find that with sections that are really light in color, I tend to be a little bit more careful and um, with filling it with ink than others. So just keep that in mind, a uh, quick tip, something I didn't think about until I started um, gravitating towards or getting pens that have a lighter grip section. Um, but yeah, so 
my first rod and pin really pleased with it it's so pretty i will be using this guy a lot <laughs> and um if you guys have any questions let me know and i will catch you guys in the next video talk to you soon